Hey guys, just coming with you with a little quick video today. Um, a little tip on how to keep your Dell XPS cooler while gaming. Um, I go into the internet a lot and I see quite a few people saying, oh, my XPS it gets so hot when I play or it overheats or you know something like that. Well, I found a really quick and safe way to keep your computer a lot cooler while gaming and without sacrificing uh, performance. Now, first of all, it's important to note that when you're gaming, especially with uh, most modern games, um, it puts the game puts more of a strain usually on your graphics card than your processor, um, especially with the Dell XPS um, 15, which is why I have I have the uh, GeForce uh, 540M. Uh, it's not a very powerful car, so it's pretty much the bottleneck of the computer. Um, and so you can actually lower the clock frequency of your processor and not lose any FPS at all. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. You go into Start, uh, Control Panel, um, Hardware and Sound, go into Power Options. And once you select the Power Option, just go into Change Plan Settings and Change Advanced Power Settings. And we get this nice little panel with a few things you can adjust. Now, first of all, what you want to do is max out your graphics. Make sure your graphics on the lowest power setting so you get the most performance. Um, and then we'll cut the processor down a little bit. So, uh, first of all, you need to adjust your Intel graphics settings. Just make sure they're on uh, maximum performance. Because, um, especially with Optimus, um, even when you're playing using the uh, NVIDIA GPU, um, it still has to route your data through the integrated graphics in order to render it to your screen. So the graphics card, the NVIDIA card, doesn't actually uh, render it to your screen. It's, the, uh, it's always the um, integrated card. Does. So just make sure that's always a maximum performance. Go into PCI Express and just make sure the uh, link state power management is off. So the uh, GPU is always in full power mode. And here's the important one. Go into processor power management into maximum processor state and you can adjust these options here. So right now, um, I have it set to 80% for this uh, particular balance setting. And if it's on 80%, the processor will well, reach 80% of its uh, max frequency. Now, um, I have the i5-2410M processor um, with a base frequency of 2.3 gigahertz. And the turbo boost allows um, a single core to go up to 2.9 gigahertz. Um, so if I leave it on 100%, um, turbo boost will be enabled and everything, and it'll always, at most, go up to 2.9 gigahertz. Now, if you put it to 99%, um, it'll go up to max 2.3 gigahertz, but the turbo boost will never come on. So if you put it to 99%, that's basically like turning turbo boost off. <laughs> and um, when you put it to 80%, that works out to 1.8 gigahertz max. Um, I tested it with games. I used Fraps to record my FPS and everything. Um, I tested it with two games, uh, Dirt 3 and Crisis 2. And I first played the game and recorded the FPS with 100% processor state, uh, turbo boost on and everything. And then I did it with 80%. And I was actually pretty surprised to find that I did not lose any FPS at all when putting it down to 80%. Um, yeah, there was no slowdown whatsoever. Now, there's a big difference, though, in temperatures of your processor. When it was at 100%, um, I reached uh, 93 degrees Celsius on one core and 91 degrees on the other one. When I put it down to 80%, um, the max I reached on one core was 79 degrees. So, you know, that's a 14 degree difference. That's a pretty big difference. Um, first of all, the fan doesn't come on as loud, and it's a lot better for your processor. Even though these processors are designed for, uh, you know, higher heat, um, because it's, you know, it's a portable processor. Even letting your processor get up into the 90 degrees for extended period of time definitely will um, shorten the life of your processor. It's not good for it. I mean, it, it might not shorten it... Uh, within the time that you buy a new computer, but you never know. You might have overheating problems. The processor might uh, <laughs> crack off the board or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely better to keep it cooler. Your computer as a whole will be cooler, and you don't lose any FPS. So Now, of course, you put it down to, like, say, like 50 or 10% or something. That <laughs> The game just probably won't even play anymore because it would be too slow. But 80% works perfectly fine. You don't lose any FPS at all. Um... Now, the only thing that will happen is loading times will be a little bit longer, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, the game still runs 
smoothly, exact same FPS. So now there's a little power option down here, your charge option. Click on it, there you go, there's your power option. So say you want to like uh, render a video or something, that takes a lot of processor performance. So just uh, you know, select your plan, let's say like high performance, okay, boom, turbo boost on everything, you go up to 2.9 gigahertz, whatever. And then you wanna go play a game, just go ahead and you know, select the other one that you've already set up in here, and you're good to go. So uh, this is a quick little tip that'll really uh, help uh, keep your computer a lot cooler. And um, if you want to see what your temperatures are doing, I just have a, you can download CPU ID. I'll put a link below. Uh, it's a free program. It shows you all the temperatures and voltages and, ter uh, yeah, temperatures and voltages, basically, of different components. So, oh, uh, yeah. Also, I need to note, uh, it's worth mentioning that the uh, graphics card when I was playing Crisis 2, um, it never went above 78 degrees, which is, you know, it's a pretty safe temperature for a graphics card, especially a laptop one. So you don't have to worry about the graphics card. I never even got it to reach uh, 80 degrees before, so that uh, stays pretty cool. Yeah, the processor, though, that definitely helps lowering the max frequency of it. So I hope this little tip uh, helped. See you guys later.